I'm just going to put that out there. <laughs> um, but I wasn't hurt. But I just wanted to talk about the room because I guess it's sort of interesting and they have a lot of names and a lot of different nicknames and stuff. But what I'm going to talk about is the Marine started in 1775. Um, they had a mascot, the first mascot, or their only mascot right now is the English Bulldog. Um, the Marine motto is Semper Fidelis, and I'm pretty sure almost everybody knows that they all hear it. Um, but another name for them is also Devil Dogs. And another thing that I'm going to talk about is the women in the Marines. Because there's not very many in there. <laughs> but um, I'm going to talk about the history. The history, um, the Marines, according to, or the Marines started in on November 10th, 1775. And according to the article, Adapt and Overcome, um, it's from the Marines. Magazine. Um, President Andrew Jackson in 1829 and President Theodore Roosevelt in 1908, they tried to merge the Marines into the Army. And a lot of people disagreed with that, and so did Congress. So Congress did away with that. No, we're not gonna, it's not going to happen. And then another thing was that the Mar a Marine Corps General, Alexander Vandegrift, he put an end to it during his speech called the uh, No Bend in Me. Um, it was at the Naval Affairs to the Senate Committee on May 6, 1959. So he basically said, no, that's, we're our own, we're our own, like, how do you say, branch, and it's not gonna happen. And the Marine mascot is the English Bulldog. I guess the English Bulldog used to, I don't know how you guys know how they look. They're small, they're, yeah, they're really stout and tough looking and they look really strong and they have, but they have small noses. <laughs> but um, what they were used was to basically hook on the nose of a bull and it basically like calm it down, surprisingly. So they were used to tame bulls. Um, it said that in the, according to the article, the mascot in the Marines magazine, um, said the Marines naturally take the bull by the horns. So that's why they went with the English Bulldog. Um, the first enlisted English Bulldog was named Jiggs. Um, he was at the Washington Barracks. Where it was. Um, but yeah, he was the first one. And then after that, then it all the way went to, let's see, I think they got to like 14, because some of them ended up, they all ended up dying, some died of heat exhaustion, and, but that's the Marine mascot. Um, the Marine motto is Semper Fidelis, which is Latin for always faithful. Um, According to the article, what do Marines say in response to Semper Fi? It's from a website of our military. Um, the Semper Fi Dallas was saying was given in 1883 by Colonel Charles Grimes McCauley. It was to signify the dedication and loyalty. Um, instead of saying Semper Fi Dallas, the short word is Semper Fi. And it's a lot, I guess it's Marines use it for almost anything. You could say, hey, what's up? Semperfy. Or say, hey, how's the day going? Semperfy. Or even if they're a Marine to Marine, Semperfy. Semperfy. It's just a respecting to each other, to fellow Marines to each other. Um, so the Teufel, Teufel Hunda, which is the German name for devil dog. Um, it was given to the Marines by the Germans during the Battle of Bolo Wood. It was World, during World War One, and um, the reason why they referred to them as a devil dog was because it, 
there's a, I guess there's a Bavarian dog. It's called, a, they called it a ferocious mountain dog. And I guess it was very ferocious and stuff. Um, the name, the reason, the, the brigade, the 4th Marine Brigade was the ones that helped um, Paris to, to prevent the Germans from taking over them. And they, they said that, the, that they didn't know how else to put it because they were so ferocious in battle and that they just, all the ones that ended up dying and then the ones that took over were the ones that were kind of like, um, that still made it to go try to take over are the devil dogs. They were the ones that survived and basically um, helped in the war or the battle. And the last one is the women in the Marines. And according to the Women Marines Association, um, the first woman to list was in 1918. Her name was Ofa Mae Johnson. And her, what she did in there, she didn't go to battles or anything. That wasn't until later that they were able to do that. But the reason why she went in, the first one to actually sign up was, um, it was for cler clerical duties. So that way the people in the offices, um, so that way the people in the offices, I guess the males, so then that way they could go overseas and there could be more people over there fighting. And in 1993, women were allowed to fly in the aircraft. Um, I think in, for infantry, it wasn't until like 2016 that they were able to actually get into the infantry division and stuff. Um, only 8.3% now, only there's only that percentage of women that are in the Marines. So my conclusion is the Marines were established in November of 1775. The English Bulldog named Jigs became the mascot on October 14, 1922. The nickname Devil Dogs was given to the Marines by Germans during World War I and simplified as used by Marines in almost any terms and it is universal for anything they say. Women were not able to be in the military until later.